All right, so we'll go over replacing this sediment filter <clears throat> in this particular system here to shut off the water. It might be redundant, but you can shut off the water to the filter with this and moving this to the off position. <clears throat> so that stops the flow the through here. here. There's also a setting that goes from filter to off in the center. So you can just move that to the off position. <clears throat> okay. The next step is to actually remove the filter housing. So again, using the same wrench, you can get from the bottom. <clears throat> so it's in the grooves. And then you rotate it to unscrew. There we go. Now I have something to pick up a little bit of excess water. A little plastic bucket down there. After it's loosened, you can remove the rest by hand. See, it's dripping down below. No big deal. That's normal. All right. So these weren't that dirty. It's only been about a little bit. It's only been about three months. So I'm going to replace these. This one takes two of these cartridges from here. So I've already removed the cartridges, dumped the water that was in there. You can see there's a little bit, there's an O-ring at the top, a little bit of leftover grease. I'm going to uh, wipe that off and then apply another bead <clears throat> of silicon grease. This is a silicon grease here. Another bead around. Put in two cartridges in the center, remove the plastic, and um, then we install. All right, here's the second of the cartridges. You see, I already have one there. You can buy them extra long, too. Either way works. All right. And then you just reverse the process. <clears throat> Place it in there. All right, there's the two cartridges or one extra long one. You've got the uh, threaded ring around it. <clears throat> and you put it in place. And then you screw it back on. Yeah, I'm screwing that on. <clears throat> All right. Okay, get it snug. And you can tighten it just a bit, not much. All right. <clears throat> and then you Use the wrench, all right, to go back to filter, all right, and then you can turn the water flow back on, and then just to make sure, check for leaks, everything clean. So it's been changed. Now, <clears throat> I would say you could you certainly should change it every year. Maybe you get by with, you know, nine months to. The neutralizer here, that's a once a year change. You can have, and you always have, or at least I do, the plumber put in new, um, new granular stuff inside the tank <clears throat> that controls the pH. And you can have him change out the, uh, you know, the uh, the water filter too. You know, maybe you get on a nine month schedule or something to start with, and you can lengthen it to twelve depending on your usage.